Hello, I have a small update on megapixels and its post-processing. Here I have a fine phone with my test builds on it. This is, a, well, the screen is black because it's laying flat. I made some changes, uh, so now it's possible in the settings to select which post-processor you want to use. And it will show you the default post-processor, which is postprocessor.sh. And in my case, I've installed PostProcess D, which adds two postprocessors. PostProcess D single is the fastest postprocessor. It will take a single picture like the old script and runs it to a full native postprocessor. It's not a shell script, but it's a native C++ application that uses OpenCV and Libral directly to create a, a processed image way more quickly at least faster than the old script. The second option is PostProcess D stacked. That takes all the pictures that Megapixels takes and combines them together for noise reduction. And this takes a lot more CPU power to process every frame taken and then uh, stack them together and then do the post-processing. And with the new version of Megapixels, the amount of pictures in a burst it takes is dependent on how light the scene is. So here it's laying flat and that creates a worst case where it takes five pictures and stacks those together. But if you're taking a picture in daylight, it will create only two stacked pictures, which should be almost as fast as the quick one. For comparison, this is the old script. And surprisingly, while it doesn't do stacking, it is way, way, way slower while producing a worse result. So while this thing is running, uh, some other changes are that the flash state is now stored in the EXIF data of the pictures, which is a small change, but it helps. Um, the dynamic stacking length that I have already mentioned, and there is uh, contributed support by Tunis if I pronounce it correctly, that adds support for the Xiaomi Mi Note 2. And that adds a lot of megapixels internals to deal with uh, media CTL pipelines. So that is a huge internal improvement that is not visible at all for PinePhone users, but it's there. And that is a great improvement. And hopefully some of that code will help with supporting the PinePhone Pro. So now the post-processing is done. And as you can see that the post-process D single is a lot faster than any of the options while producing better results than the old postprocess.sh file. For comparing the actual picture results, this is a picture taken with the old post-processor. And this is from the fastest lowest quality new processor. It is a lot better. And to compare it to the stacked version, it's almost identical because this is outdoor in relatively good light. So the stack is only two pictures deep, which is faster to process, but produces basically the same picture. To make some more use of the stacking post-processor, I also took a picture of a more shadowy area where it uses more frames to produce less noisy results. Hopefully video compression doesn't mess too much with the result here, but yeah it's better at the cost of some more processing time. So that concludes the demo of the new megapixels features. Um, it will take some time for this is uh, packaged and merged. Uh, PostProcess D has probably be submitted to Alpine by the time the video is released. And for megapixels, the new features will have to wait until a new release is tagged and then put in PostMark as Edge. It should not take too long though. Uh, thanks for watching.